I bought a dry erase board so I can have daily lists instead of wasting paper. I have my daily to-do list so when I get up in the morning it'll spell out what I need to do. Oof, I'm tired. My sleep and wake schedule is still messed up big time. Presently I have blueberry muffin batter in a cake pan. I'm not a bread pan because the muffin pan is too big to fit in the microwave convection oven. So I have a loaf of blueberry muffin batter bacon. It's not done yet, but it, it does look good. It's promising. And then after that I'm going to put in a Swedish coffee cake that's wetty, wetty and waiting? Wetty and waiting. <laughs> wetty and waiting for you, my dear. Yeah, it's ready and waiting to go in the oven. And tomorrow... Tomorrow afternoon, possibly, uh, someone I know from high school that I chatted to a couple times back and forth on Facebook, we were talking about rehabbing in houses and I asked a question about replacing garbage disposals that are hardwired instead of plugged in, because I've replaced them before that were plugged in. But mine here is hardwired in and I didn't know if I could do it. So he said, I'll take a look at it. So two weeks ago he came over and he looked at it and he said, Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. Tell you what, you get a replace, replacement one and call me before the end of January because he's going away on business. So just call me and you know, I'll come over and replace it. I said, really? He said, yeah. Like, okay. Well, I had ordered one online. The, the kind that didn't, they weren't in the store because they were cheaper and they mailed it right to the house. So I have it. He's supposed to come over tomorrow to do that, I think. So that ought to be exciting. I've lived without a garbage disposal for a couple of years, but just the fact that it's between the dishwasher and the drain pipe, and if it doesn't work and water backs up, then it backs everything up. And So I don't know. I mean, I could put just a regular drain in there, but still it has to be undone from the wire. So he's going to come over and look at that tomorrow. That's exciting. Uh, it's supposed to get really, really cold and start raining on Saturday and turn to snow and stuff. It's supposed to be really icky Saturday. Saturday I was going to go to some Italian dinner thing, but I guess I'm not. But that's okay because I can't really afford to do that right now. I don't know how I'm going to pay this guy, whether he wants money or a dinner or a piece of cake or what I don't really know if he says don't worry about it don't bother then I'll have to do something in return I don't know I mean maybe mow his grass for him or something I don't know but uh, it's a really nice gesture <sighs> at first I thought maybe he was anxious to come over to see how this weirdo lives because people probably say she's a weirdo I always have been kind of a weirdo. I was not a jock. I was not a cheerleader. And the only people that mattered in high school were jocks and cheerleaders. And this guy was a jock, a baseball playing jock. Actually, I was on the track team for a short period of time. Until the teacher coach wanted me to do three different events. I did um, the dash, 100 yard dash? I don't know what it was. Some kind of sprint dash thing. I did the relays, which I really like doing the relays. I was either next to last or last to drive that baton home. I like doing that. And then she said, no, oh, you gotta have another event, let's let's do hurdles. And I thought, uh-uh. Not gonna break my leg for anybody. Sorry. And she says, well, then you can't be in track. And I thought, okay. Because I was in theater anyway. Oh, I get off on a tangent really easily, don't I? <sighs> Maybe the whiteboard list will help me keep things together. And these lights here that are so pretty, I need to put away. And the things in the other room I took down, but they're waiting to be put away. Maybe I can get up early and get myself a big cup of strong coffee 
and put all that stuff away before that guy comes in the afternoon. I don't know. This place is so cluttered. But that's part of my new thoughts of getting my butt together is this dry erase board and making lists and going down the list and I hope it works. <laughs> I hope it works. There's a couple things here that I've measured and I have some pieces of boards and platforms and stuff I was going to convert into some office gear for my brother's desk. A platform for his, um, what do you call that? Monitor. For the monitor that you can put the, the keyboard underneath when you're not using it. You can buy those. They're like $25, but I have a little wooden platform. All I have to do is adjust it a little bit and paint it nicely, and he can have it. And then possibly build another little platform and I have an organizer, a couple organizers i got to figure out to make him. Oh, I just thought of something. So, I'll be kind of busy. And I told myself, don't start anything this year, you're not going to finish. So, I'm going to have to, if I start it, I have to finish it. That's going to be my thing this year, is finish what you started. And there's a couple things I've been in the works for years that I need to finish. This is the time. Strike while the iron is hot, or at least lukewarm. <laughs> Cat's in my chair over here. He's in my office chair sleeping. The best chair. No, it's not the best chair. But I was going to work at the computer. And I just, today I just didn't feel like being at the computer at all. Facebook, I, it's kind of lost its appeal with me. I only go there to see if my kids are still alive. You know, I don't really care about all the guns and religion and all the issues that people argue back and forth and pass this on and say amen and all that stuff. Like, I, I, that's not why I'm on Facebook. You know, there are some theater friends of mine that have been since high school. And they know that. They don't do that monkey shines either. And they're, they're good. I consider them good friends, although they're really not friends. They're like really, really good acquaintances. Because I don't really have any friends. I don't hang out with anybody. Except a cat. <sighs> Worrying about Saturday. Well, no, I'm not going to go anywhere Saturday. It's supposed to snow. Take that wet noodle and whip myself with it. You get an idea in your head, and you think you got to do it, no matter what. It's it's stupid, and I obsess on stuff. My brother does it too. He thinks he has to have something, and he obsesses on it till he goes out and gets it. No, no, no. That's where creativity and adaptability come in. You don't need. What you think you need. You've got plenty of crap around here. Adapt. I'm talking to myself. As I always do. Yes, I need to go and check the uh, blueberry muffin bread. Upward and onward. This just came out. This going in. Yummy.